Yes, indeed. And this is our first Cade broadcast. Looking forward to this one. I'm so excited. More excited than the Pointer Sisters ever could have been. This is Lakeview Circuit, five laps, nine kilometres of muddy mayhem. Uh, this is uh, an obstacle course. There's obstacles around the back of the course and fences. Cornering's not too bad. So uh, we're expecting people to stay up most of the race. If you can go too fast around the bends, you might just crash. But we're expecting crashes on the obstacles. So our first uh, Cade broadcast, absolutely thrilled about this. Look at that, Lakeview Circuit, this is the aerial view of it. You can see the plan in the bottom right of your screen, and uh, that's why it's called Lakeview Circuit. As you can see, the uh, course goes down that uh, slither of land in between all that water. Uh, A little bridge there, you'll see that as we go across it. Uh, Very exciting course, I absolutely love this one. I think you can do it quite fast, and and they're the obstacles, that's what you've got to uh, avoid. Now... It don't look that difficult, but if you've got other riders alongside you, you could get forced into one because you can't change lane. So it's all about steering around the obstacles. As I say, I think the bends probably you can do fast enough for this sort of race uh, without crashing. There's the bridge I mentioned. Absolutely great graphics as usual on Cade Sport. Two minutes to go to the start. Now, we don't, uh, you'll see silhouetted riders. Uh, just to explain, if you're new to this, silhouettes um, are people you can ride past through. Okay. Um, a rider that's sort of kind of fully uh, fully developed and not uh, see-through, uh, you, you have to steer around. Now, the, the silhouetted riders are basically the first 10 seconds of the race, everybody's silhouetted just so that if somebody gets uh, is a slow start or something like that, they don't block people in. 10 seconds into the race, everybody will go solid. And then if you see silhouetted riders uh, later in the race, one of two things, they're either on a different lap or they've stopped for some reason uh, and again you can ride through those if they're on a different lap or stopped so one minute uh, 15 seconds to go as we look around this course as i say three sets of these uh, fences which are the only main obstacles so this should be a reasonably fast race as we look at the bridge again and uh, some of the riders uh, out on the course already uh, david tobin i believe is there and who else have we got uh, on the uh, course today, uh, quite a few Raiders. I, I should imagine that's uh, Vanessa. Oh, no, that's Homer Thompson. Uh, those two yellow jerseys, you'll see that uh, Homer Thompson and Kay Thompson will tend to wear. Uh, David Tobin, uh, Iger Copsey. Oh, there's uh, We are privileged. The Slovenian, uh, one of the great riders. Um, if you're going to have a little bet on who might win this one, Iger is probably a good man to put your money on. Uh, a top rider, no less, uh, from the scene of... And there he is. You can see his silhouette there just practising at the moment as uh, Homer rides through him. So uh, I think we're putting down Iger as firm favourite for this race, but I don't know whether he's used to the crashing. Let's see. That could be really exciting, couldn't it? Iger tearing away and then getting uh, scuppered by the uh, obstacles. Now, everybody gets transported to the start line just before the start. Here we are, everybody lined up, uh, race ready to go. Uh, As you can see, all the riders down the uh, right-hand side of your screen, and off they go. And it's... uh, it looks like it's Rene uh, Valley. He's gone off first, uh, very much tearing away. And um, who else have we got? Zoni, uh, Zoni Rider uh, there. And 
yes, Homer Thompson. Oh, and a crash already. Several crashes. Now, everybody who went red there crashed, and I think Malcolm Murdoch was one of them. And Homer Thompson has got out on front in the lead. Now, Homer's very, very adept at staying up on corners. Uh, people have crashed. You can see some more reds there. Brett uh, Smith went red, and I think somebody else did as well. Uh, Homer Thompson now uh, pulling away. Uh, and there he is on screen, uh, as calm as you like, looking very, very cool indeed. As he gently uh, goes around these bends without crashing. Now this uh, little section here doesn't look like an obstacle, but you see it narrows a little bit at the side. So if you are at the side, you do have to steer around that. And if there are the riders um, nearby, it's going to be a problem. Now David Tobin, who's well practiced on these as well, has taken second place. He's out of shack. Uh, Vanessa Murren is in fourth place. Malcolm Murdoch fifth. Brett Smith sixth. Iga Copsey seventh. Uh, Rene Valle in eighth, and Lisa Snell. Uh, no, it's just a head of Sony Rider. Uh, this is Shaq in a uh, resplendent uh, green outfit. As I say, oh, now here we come to the uh, bollards. You need to steer. So just moving away from the edge to get through the gap. This is more difficult if there's more riders around you. And you can actually force riders into it. Now you see Shaq just moves over to the left there to uh, line up for the next one. And look at this, Vanessa. She knows that track, doesn't she? She knows what she's doing out of the saddle, giving it some absolutely powering away taken taken over uh, third place from Shaq now behind David Tobin he's with insights I think Vanessa's got David in insights Shaq taking the uh, smooth route through there uh, Rene oh Rene just blocking in Malcolm maybe or maybe Rene's pulling away uh, hard to tell but you can that's another thing you can do if you get into the wrong lane you get stuck behind someone and can't overtake them while you're going through those now you notice the uh, riders steering over to the inside of the bend to get the best uh, best line. Uh, Iger Copsey not making the most of it there, or gradually steering in. Uh, you can have it on autopilot to... Uh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Iger's taken that uh, corner a bit too fast. So my favourite for the race is... Uh, is It's struggling already. Let's have a look at Iger doing this. Now, Iger is a top rider. And you can see what happens there. Takes that a little bit too fast, slides across. And one of the things you do, if you break... Once you're into the corner, it will probably make the skid worse. So you need to break before you get there. Homer now, cool as you like. He's taken a, a solid lead uh, as he comes through the start finishing line. Finishing the first lap. So two out of five laps. Homer well ahead. And I think Vanessa has overtaken David Tobin. And Vanessa will know this track well. So the riders at the front are the ones who are well practiced on this. And uh, Iger Kotze way back. So, uh, so much for my favourite for the race. On a straight race, I would favour Iger in this, um, knowing that he's a good rider. But obviously what's, uh, what's affecting me here is the cornering, whereas you see these two just gently going round. And, oh, Vanessa's gone off. Now, that has surprised me. I said at the beginning I didn't expect too much corner crashing. I think David put her under a bit of pressure there. Now, David's got to miss the obstacle. He's got to steer just to the right to miss those logs. Gets round them nicely. All you need to do is stay up. Don't go too fast around the bends. The riders have... Um, an indicator on the bottom of their screen and the speedometer will alert them to the kind of effective speed limit if you like on any particular bend so they know how to judge it the trouble is you don't actually know till you get to the bend how it's going to affect it now there's a diagram of how it all works and you'll see that if this rider on the screen uh, you've got here is doing 30.9 that's the green zone the red zone is if you go that fast you will crash on the corner and uh, see david just getting that uh, but they're getting that uh, line right through those uh, fences. So going back to the speedometer, the red line you mustn't go into. Yellow, um, if you break too much, you'll slide on that. But if you don't break, you'll probably stay up on the yellow bit. So the idea is, is to get your speed roughly up where the yellow and red join and basically stay up by not breaking on the bend. So that's a skill. Uh, we haven't got too many riders close together, so they're not suffering too much with these obstacles. Just remember, you see Malcolm just uh, pushing himself to the left there to make sure that he uh, he avoids them. And uh, who have we got here? This is uh, this is Lisa Snell. Uh, everybody on mountain bikes today. I'm a slightly different view, isn't it? But uh, Lisa Snell now, uh, in, also in the West London kit. Uh, Lisa was uh, very good at this. And when we first started, she started winning all the races. And uh, this was due to the equalisation that we put in because everybody's on pro power. Uh, and very effective it was for... For her too, uh, she's taken to it like you know, taken to it like a duck to water. Absolutely superb, and uh, just now looking 
ahead. I think that's uh, who we got here. This is Brett Smith. I think Brett Smith doesn't usually wear that uh, wear that kit, so that suddenly surprised me. Uh, Zony Riders just crashed behind him. Uh, Iger Copsey climbing up the positions by the looks of things now, and uh, Zony Rider just getting going again. One of the, uh, Iger catching up as well. So uh, Iger probably getting a bit more. Uh, a bit more adept at these corners. He's taken this one quite smoothly and gradually cra uh, catching up with... Oh, no! Another crash. And it's just... It's so it's so easy to do because you see that rider in front of you. You get so excited about catching them. Put that extra bit in and just go over the edge. Takes a bit of practice. Um, you do get better, I can assure you. Here's Homer. Absolutely. I'm sure he was grinning then. I'm not sure, but it looked like it. You're not supposed to be grinning. You're meant to be in absolute pain, Homer. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's more like it. <laughs> He's, uh, you're doing very well, though. Uh, absolute. This is, uh, this is a great example of proper steering. And uh, Homer's well-practiced. I, I can't keep up with him. And uh, he is really uh, exemplary when it comes to this. So David Tobin now, who's uh, had a lot of practice on this and is a bit of a Cade fan, it has to be said is now um, just ahead of Rene. And uh, will, uh, will Rene catch David? I mean, Rene wearing the uh, colours that I always associate, uh, Rene Valal, um, Valaldez um, wearing the colours I always associate with Cade. Now, just to make sure, gets the line right. Uh, he is now going, he can't overtake David Tobin uh, during that. David Tobin just shifting to the left. If I was Rene, I would have gone to the right. And he has, and that's exactly what you do. If he hadn't done that, he would have got stuck behind David uh, during that little bit of set of obstacles. David about to get taken by somebody else as well. It's Vanessa, I think, uh, who's just taken the place. And um, David, well, David's not going to overtake her anyway, I don't think. So uh, three of them now. Let's hope they can stay together because this will make it more interesting. It puts on each other under pressure at the obstacles. And, of course, it uh, adds a bit of pressure on those corners, as we saw with Iger, who uh, had several slips while eagerly chasing the rider in front. Iger now behind uh, Lisa, just ahead of Zany Ryder, <coughs> for the uh, Australian in 10th place, I make that, I think. Now, Rene is uh, pushing hard, but not really pulling out a significant gap between him and Vanessa and David, who are getting... Oh, is this... I saw David go to the edge there, and I didn't know whether he was sliding or he just took the outside line. Uh, he stayed on, though. You can sometimes stay on if you uh, if you freewheel. If you if you think you're sliding, try and freewheel rather than brake. Um, it's intuitive to brake, but that's not the thing to do. You'll just uh, exacerbate the skid. We're on lap three of five now. Uh, Rene pushing hard. He's uh, he's got quite. A, he's got seven seconds uh, as he hits lap four out of five. Seven seconds to catch Homer. Uh, Vanessa's just two seconds behind him. Uh, three seconds now, so he's pulling out a little bit. David Tobin, five now. So Vanessa uh, creating a little bit of a gap between her and David Tobin. Uh, Malcolm back at 33 seconds. So there are probably four riders within a shout of winning this race as you see them going past some silhouetted riders. Uh, here we have Kay Thompson, I believe. No, it's not. It's Homer. Sorry. Um, so as I say, it's uh, there's probably four riders can do this uh, now. Uh, down to David Tobin. Uh, we've got Homer, Rene, and look, this gap between uh, Vanessa and uh, David, not that big. Uh, interesting, actually, that Vanessa's on a road bike there, because uh, I didn't realise you could put a road bike on this course, the rest of everybody else riding on mountain bikes. So uh, there we are. I'll have to go and look at the option. Oh, David's caught up. David has caught up. He's gone on the outside. Is he skidding? No, he's not. He's just taking the outside line for the sake of overtaking. But it does take a little bit extra to go around. Brett Smith has just crashed, uh, as we see there on 46 seconds. The silhouetted riders, remember, David's got in front of Vanessa. Silhouetted riders that you see, remember, they're on different laps to the rider that the camera is following. No problems with the bollards here. Everybody getting around them quite neatly. And Vanessa now just uh, sitting on David's wheel, taking the, sli the uh, slipstream here, taking the draft. And uh, she's uh, she's on his tail. I mean, I think she's probably just using the draft. I mean, we're on... 
Lap four out of five, she doesn't really have to put the pressure on until later. If she did want to overtake now, she's trapped because she's in the uh, bollards, but I don't see any sign that she really, really wants to overtake. She's taking the inside line, though. That could get her past. Homer Thompson now, just four seconds ahead of Rene. If Rene can stay up, he's going to make the catch, isn't he? Malcolm Murdoch has just crashed 44 seconds back. So that gap between the front four and everybody else, bigger and bigger. Can Rene catch Homer? This is the big debate. Homer is probably not, not grinning as much as he was earlier, I should imagine, knowing that he's got Rene on his back. Rene's got it all to do to catch him, though. We're on lap four of five, 2.1 kilometres to go. Can he do it in the time? And will he get too excited and crash at one of the bollards on the corners? Homer now will take this steady. Homer does not want to crash. If you crash now, if either of these riders were to crash now, they will lose the race. The gap's right down to two seconds as they come through to the fifth line. Homer's <laughs> he's jiggling about there out the saddle. He's really putting some effort in to make that gap stay at two seconds. Rene absolutely fighting to make up the gap. But I think Homer's holding him off at the moment. This is great stuff. We're in the final lap as we go over the bridge. Make sure that you stay up on these corners. And I think Homer's done enough there. He's got a four-second gap. Absolutely splendid stuff. The pressure is on Rene to catch now. But uh, don't get overexcited and crash on the corner because he'll blow the whole thing. David Tobin's only 10 seconds behind. And uh, it's not, uh, it's not going to be uh, impossible to be overtaken if you crash. Vanessa and David now... Um, Vanessa just dropping off David a little bit. I'm a little bit surprised at that because I think Vanessa knows these courses quite well. So a uh, little bit of a surprise. Uh, she's on the outside but goes to the inside now. You will save uh, a little bit of time by make it, taking the inside lane, which you can do with the steering. Don't take it too much on the inside there because the road narrows for those rocks and logs. But, uh, oh, Rene has crashed. Oh, my goodness. I think there we are. He's uh, having to speed up now. He's got 13 seconds. I think... Homer has won the race. Rene, in his eagerness to catch up, has suffered the crash. Malcolm Murdoch down again. <laughs> and Homer now out of the saddle, making sure that nothing goes wrong. He's only got to stay on the bike now to win, really, hasn't he? Less than a kilometre to go. He's got to make sure it should be fairly easy for a man of Homer's experience and ability to get through these last obstacles. Rene's still pushing hard. He's slightly closing the gap, but he's not going to do it. David Tobin now in third place for the podium. Last podium position is tackling these uh, obstacles for the last time. 0.8 kilometres, 800 metres to go. Malcolm Murdoch has crashed again. Um, I think he's in danger of getting caught by Lisa Snell there. Brett Smith uh, way back for once. And uh, Iger, I'm su suspecting, is uh, probably suffering from those crashes still. Uh, going out wide a little bit there is David Tobin, but I think that's uh, just out of choice. It's not uh, sliding. Uh, could he catch Rene? Rene is not. I don't know how. I don't know how much effort's going in now because uh, David Tobin's only four seconds behind Rene, but I don't think there's enough uh, space there to uh, make up the gap. Homer Thompson now is coming home for the win. Two hundred meters to go. And the man deserves it. He's the one who stayed on the bike. He's the one who didn't crash. He's the man with the skills. It's Homer Thompson coming home for an emphatic and well-deserved victory. Well done, my man. Absolutely well done. And he throws his hands up in delight. Rene, uh, what a fight you put up, sir. And you were fantastic. And David's just holding off Vanessa. Can, can Vanessa, I think Vanessa's going to go for the sprint. And I think David did it by a whisker. David takes the final podium position, I think, there, just from Vanessa. Shaq now coming along in the uh, green and white kit uh, is 400 metres from the line, one bend and straight. Brett Smith is over again. You can see it's gone red there. Uh, Igor Copsey uh, right at the back now. So my tip to win, uh, suffering from uh, not actually having done, uh, I think, too many of these uh, courses before and uh, hitting the crash zones a little bit too frequently. Uh, we all did it when we started. It is natural. Uh, you do have to acquire new skills for this. And that's what makes it so much fun and so engaging. As uh, Shaq now coming in to take fifth place. Uh, a great ride. Uh, probably didn't focus too much on Shaq. But uh, a great ride. Stayed up enough to beat <laughs> a nice little heart from Vanessa as well. And uh, Malcolm Murdoch coming up next. And uh, 
Malcolm's uh, been having some good results recently, so I think the crashes have uh, affected his position today. But nevertheless, well done. Uh, Lisa will be delighted if she can stay ahead of uh, Brett Smith. And uh, <laughs> this Lisa. Brett Smith there, uh, uh, not in the kit I'd normally expect to see him in, but uh, coming in now just behind Lisa. So Lisa will be absolutely thrilled to bits with that. Uh, Iger Copsey now taking the last of the positions ahead of the camera bots. Well done, Iger. It's fantastic to have a rider of that calibre in the race. Absolutely fantastic. The Slovenian is a top online rider. And uh, thank you very much, Iger, for taking part tonight. Uh, that's how it works. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice and skills. And I think the man who proved that to you was Homer Thompson. Absolutely superb bit of racing. Bad luck, Rene. Uh, really, uh, really feel for the guy. David Tobin will be delighted with the third place, beating Vanessa, who's had some wins recently. Shaq with a steady race in the middle. Malcolm Murdoch, far too many crashes. Lisa will be thrilled a bit, beating Brett. And Iger Copsey. Well, Iger, just have a little bit of practice because uh, I think there's more to come from you. I know you're a top rider uh, and privileged to have you in the race today. Thanks very much, everybody, for taking part. Been fantastic having you. Uh, we're West London VR. Uh, we're moving these to alternate Wednesdays going forward, and uh, hopefully we'll build up uh, from what we've got. These were these VR races at the beginning were very much us testing it all out. We have proved that this is one of the most fantastic uh, platforms there is out there. It's engaging. It's enthralling. It requires new skills, and you can see a top rider like I. Uh, suffering a little bit from not having practiced cornering on uh, Cade yet. But he will be back and people like him will be on this platform because it will be the skill thinking man's racing. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you soon. Yeah. <clears throat>